<laughs> hey everybody, what's up? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching Sit Down. Paul Newsom's here with us. The Twilight Zone season two yeah. coming to CBSL Access. How are you? I'm really good. Really good. Feeling good. Thanks. Thanks. So I love talking about the Twilight Zone because there's always so many layers to it. And your yeah. episode has plenty to talk about. You yeah. play a pastor in that episode. So what was it like for you to just jump into the Twilight Zone overall? You know, it was, a, it was something that I used to watch when I was a little kid. It was really uh, pivotal. I remember the episode, I saw this one particular episode where there was a photo on the stairwell hmm. that would advance. Do you remember that one? Did you ever see that one? I didn't see that one, but the, you go back and watch some of them with aliens and just like right, there's right. one with a couple where like the, the husband has an opportunity to become younger, but his wife stays old. Like there's just so many. That ain't right. That ain't right. A man <laughs> wrote that. Can we cuss on this? A man wrote that. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you, this, but this one, it was like amazing to go back in time and the town that we shot it in was truly back in time. It was in the bowels of, of uh, Canada mm -hmm. and you, you wouldn't have known it was a town if you had drove past it because it looks more like an intersection. So jumping into the world was really, um, it was kind of, it was just like another world. Yeah. It was, and it's one of those situations too where in the episode it's like, you want to have the power to create change. And then there is the opportunity to create change, but you kind of figure out like, as you're starting to change things, it doesn't necessarily mean that things are going to get better or it doesn't necessarily mean that you're the person to do that. So what was it like unpacking some of those bigger concepts? It was, you know, when you think about what's going on today, you know, how people are getting out and taking action on the world around them when it's not okay, mm -hmm. taking action, it's, it's a, it's kind of otherworldly, and particularly in the episode, it felt it's otherworldly. The only to describe, only description that I could find is otherworldly. It felt, uh, you know, and the the, the our, our our DP was just so brilliant, seeing the little snippets of it that I saw and how, you know, skewed and stuff like that. But it felt it felt magical. Mm. It felt magical. Yeah, I mean, even like a smaller thing, like your character allowing Damon's character to just stay in the church and just like yeah. his character had suffered and just like even how faith brings people together or just how mm -hmm. tragedy and difficult situations bring people together. Like there's so much that's so important with unity and especially at a yeah. time like now, I feel like that's- Yeah, great. yeah. It was a nice, it was a nice opportunity to, to see. And what I particularly love about our episode is how many people of color were just mm -hmm. there. You know, there wasn't particular, oh, well, she's there because the, this is a black woman. You know what I mean? It was, it was just a kind of multiracial, you know, casting that felt really good. That wasn't really, you know, oh, well, he's in prison. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, he, you know what I mean? So, uh, and, and this character, what I loved about the relationship between my character and Damon's character is it felt like family. Hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? ha having those roles is so critical. A black yeah. woman as a pastor, all these different people, just in regular normal roles, not the stereotypical roles we've seen in decades past. Like that goes a long way in changing things. And Jordan Peele, the way that he looks at the show, he changes things. So I totally love. I first of all, I love his thing with scary movies. That's yeah. the only word I like, you know. What I, mean? <laughs> I love that because it's first of all, and and when you think back to, of his his uh, what was the Academy Award winning film that he wrote? Uh, uh, Get Out. Get Out, exactly. Yeah. Um, that he used racism as being the subject mm -hmm. of the fear of the horror. You know what I mean? And I love because his attachment to this genre is just fabulous. It's just fabulous. And how we dance on it in this place where we take actions or, or, or Damon's character takes actions that can create horror for some, you know what I mean? It's, mm -hmm. that, yeah. it's that bouncing on that edge. It's really cool. Uh, what was my favorite part of the episode? You know what my favorite part? It's just the the episode in general. I, I'm, I'm, is that was seeing how it was shot. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the skew, the point of view, the angles, the lighting. You know, we're in the middle of a town in the bowels. I'm gonna turn my phone off. In the bowels of uh, Canada, British Columbia. And and you and you see how it's shot, but then when you get 
when you get to, when I got to see it, it's just, it makes it magical. It becomes the genre. It, it's fascinating to me. It's fascinating. When you think about your career, who are some other people that you've crossed with that have really inspired you or that you've just learned from mm -hmm. along the way? Mm. Mm. People, I could tell you people that I've loved with, uh, I've loved working with uh, Viola. I mm -hmm. loved working with her. Uh, I love that we could just say one name. Um, <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think about writers or directors that I really loved working with. It's an absolute pleasure doing this Jordan's work, you know. Um, my goodness, I've done so many things, DJ. Mm -hmm. It's a little, <laughs> <laughs> doing Barry was really fabulous. Yeah. Bill Hader is a friggin', I'm gonna try not to cuss, is a friggin' amazing, quirky mofo. That's not really yeah. a cuss word, right? Um, his his co-creator, co Alec Berg, just so friggin' genius. Um, who else? I'll give you one more. Oh my gosh. Can't think of one more. I mean, those I, are a couple of good people right there. And even, yeah. even with Barry, just like playing on that concept and also using comedy and being witty with it and just Perfect, having right? this basis of like, yeah, there's a little horror involved, but there's so much more room to run here and so much more room to play with. There's so much in the realm of possibility. I remember when I heard Bill several times and even our uh, person who was responsible for our show at HBO, she would be like, before he got the show, he was like, can he do this? I mean, can he do this? Because <laughs> they're giving him a show out of the blue, you know what I mean? And it's like, okay, we go give it to him, but can he do this? You know, and as we all find out, yes, he could. It's just the, the dancing between the, the tragedy and the comedy and, you know? Yeah, it's a really incredible thing to do. And we're also in this really incredible time in terms of TV, like CBS All Access, streaming The Twilight Zone, like yeah. doing Barry on HBO. Like what are your favorite parts about the industry right now in terms of all the different stuff that we see? Diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, long overdue in that category. Diversity and inclusion. And what I've realized, I was talking to a friend of mine who's grew up in marketing and now is, who started in marketing, and he talked about the immense uh, uh, audiences that are in uh, communities of color. Mm -hmm. And that it's, that it's, and I, I think the powers that be are beginning to realize that there is smart, there's wisdom in uh, people seeing themselves reflected and how mainstream culture also gets off on that. No question you know, about it. Also enjoys it. You know, it such a long um, way. Like the, story that, the stories that we don't hear, we get to hear out of nowhere and that come from these voices, that come from a diverse uh, group of people, you know, Ava, Mm -hmm. uh, list, Tyler, uh, yeah. you know, and I'm just, I'm just so grateful that it's happening. I'm grateful. I feel, you know, when you think about like uh, uh, Asian Americans, you know, mm -hmm. when I'm so bummed that we didn't see, and I know we're talking about this is a film, but it was a Mulan. I was like, oh damn, yeah. it's not going to be released. You know what I mean? But it's good to see I cuss. But, but it's, uh, but it's going to, you know, and people are hungry for it. Yeah. People are hungry for it. Yeah, it's been a long time coming and I'm glad we're here and I'm glad people get to check out the Twilight Zone. So what do you want yeah, people to be yeah. thinking when they watch your episode coming up? What do you say that again? Uh, what do you want people to be thinking about when they check you out on the episode? Oh, what's neat about it is the, the kind of uh, the cast comes from so many different, you know, parts. And what I want to pe think people to think about is it's amazing what's possible when people come together. Perfectly said. Paula, really nice hanging out with you. Be Thanks, well, Steve. and we'll talk to you down the road, all right? I'm there. Thank you.